Hello, I am Bebop, and today I am going to be playing the game submitted to the Game Dev Community Jam, and I am going to be giving these games some feedback. Links to the games are in the description, and they are in no particular order. The theme was You Cannot Stop. Alright, let's get into it. Let's start with the game called Furious Racing by Jagad Roy. Furious Racing is a fun racing game where you run from the cops and the controls are very smooth. However, there are some suggestions I think could improve the game. One of these suggestions is a high score. If there was a way to tell your best score, you could try to beat your personal best. So I think a high score would be an awesome improvement. Also, I feel a bit of speed increase would be nice. Overall, very cool game. Good job. Next is Don't Be Late by Premed Links 3000. Don't Be Late is a short but sweet platformer where you try to get to school on time. This game is not very hard and is not very long. I love the art style and animations. There are a couple of suggestions I do have though. I do not understand the purpose of hiding parts like this as you just go into it, and I feel like it doesn't really need to be hidden. I really enjoyed this game and excited to play more of Prem Lynx's games in the future. Let's talk Crystal of the Mage by Theo the Torch. Crystal of the Mage is a game where you cannot stop shooting and you must avoid hitting a crystal that flies towards you while you hit the bats to kill them. This is a really cool concept and is executed nicely. I wish there was a bit of variation in the enemies because the bats get a bit stale after a while. I wish there was a couple of different spread enemies that would spawn. The bats sometimes get stuck to the crystal and it makes it really hard to hit them. For some reason, the back to menu button you hit when you die closes the game which makes repeating playing it very annoying. Very nice and well polished game. I enjoyed playing it very much. The Cube by Value is a game about looking for cubes before time runs out. This is a cool concept and the graphics look nice, however I wish the area to look for cubes was smaller as it could take hours to come everywhere in the space. There is a darkness around you that makes it very hard to see the cubes. This game is a very cool concept and if you reduce the space to look for cubes and increase the life level it could help functionality. Endless Runner by Unity Game Dev is a game where you run. Endless Runner looks pretty good, but there are some bugs. If you run to a wall, the collision breaks and you go straight through the wall. This bug is game breaking, and if this glitch was fixed, it would be a very cool and fun game. Good concept to go back and fix up some glitches to make this game good. Now for the finale, a game I both love and hate, a game that is fun and maddening. Just Stop by Umbrella Studios is a well-polished, good-looking game with nice controls and sound effects. This game is fun to play and the controls are very satisfying. This game is hard though. This game is very hard. It took me 50 minutes to beat. Props to the developer for making such a difficult game. Difficulty is a very smart design decision because it does not take too long to make, but players get a lot of playtime out of it. That being said, I lost part of my sanity playing through these levels over and over. Luckily, I recorded myself beating it because I was not playing through the whole game again. Fun game, very well polished, good job. That wraps up all of the submissions. I just wanted to say that you should not take what I say as fact. I loved all the games and I was just trying to give some constructive criticism 
and help improve these games in the future. Please subscribe for more game jams, devlogs, and analyzing games in the future. Thank you for watching.